already know who it is. It's Fat Man from the Holler. It's Fat Man from the Holler. Don't give a fuck about a dot. I sing the same tales of being in the penitentiary, walking down the main GP line. You never see me trying to rock out, saying I got a bunch of stories by my podcast. So watch me on Patreon. I'm just beyond a whole lot of motherfuckers to another level. I can pull the trigger and I can be the devil in the story or the murderer or the zombie that does a whole lot of homicides and robberies. When I'm walking down my path of the street from the fat man from the holler in the middle of the trailer hood where it's all good because people know how to act, I will smack your motherfucking ass with my fist. I do a robbery because on a hot second, I'm the guy that tells the story from the bottom. You never see me rocking in Nashville, Tennessee, or with the music of mafia in any part of the world of the rap, hip hop, trap, or the hit cop. I tell my story just the way I lived it. The hardest part was being honest and telling the truth, trying to not indicate myself in a bunch of crimes where I'm going directly to jail or the penitentiary for life without bail. I've been shot at with hot point shells. I come from the belly of the beast. I rock it out till I'm deceased. I stand my own, my own two motherfucking feet. I stand against bike gangs and everybody in the world. I don't have to ride with no crew because I can do bad on my own. I seen the belly of the beast from the beginning to the end. Everybody wants to act like my friend. That's okay if you want to tell a story like you know me. That's all right. But guess what? I make your motherfucking thing twice when I show up at your door with that little pistol aimed at the side of your temple. I can pop his like that pimple popper on TV, Dr. Pimple Popper. I sell all the tales from doing robberies to the penitentiaries from the belly of the beast till I'm deceased. I got two feet that carry my old fat ugly ass down the street. I can do anything I want. I can be a good guy or the worst of the worst. And that is not very hard. I try to contain them demons is living inside of me. Them demons are eating at me like a disease all the time. And I think about crimes and trying to be a good man at the same time. That's when it gets twisted off. And that's when motherfuckers get hauled off. And that is all.